So the that's how I got, why uh, I got uh, to buy a Samsung uh, Smart Things hub. Was but I kind of thought that uh, that could my, not uh, be the only reason with, uh, uh, to Alexa and my Amazon Echo. But then I thought that if that was the only reason to have the Smart Things uh, hub, it would be kind of like a wasted potential kind of thing since uh, all the other uh, devices that it's uh, capable of managing, um, like I'm talking about uh, Setwave and Zigbee devices. So now I got myself uh, a new uh, door lock and it's uh, from the brand Quickset that is uh, Setwave enabled. That's the only thing that we need. And the other two things that I decided to give a try now, this multi-purpose sensor and this uh, arrival sensor. Uh, I'm gonna open them. So they are kind of uh, nice little devices and uh, this is kind of like uh, one of those uh, fobs that you have for uh, like for example the one I use in my car that's the kind of same principle that what I bought it now is because uh, when I approach my car if I have my key in my pocket I don't need to use anything in my car my car just unlocks by knowing I'm coming close so that's a nice thing to have I don't have to use my key and uh, in my in the house uh, it's the same concept and I really like to see that there was something possible to to do like that with um, the new uh, smart uh, lock I can program it so so when uh, the smart things hub knows that I'm getting close to my door that it unlocks automatically and I don't have to use either the key or enter the code and then this is the uh, uh, multi-purpose sensor it has uh, different features in it, so it works as a proximity sensor. So um, I'm gonna use this um, in my front door and it's gonna let me know when the door is open and closed. And uh, I'll see how well these devices work. I'm gonna install them and uh, I'm gonna talk about later how, how they look and how they actually this work. This is how my front door looks and uh, I just installed my new proximity sensor. It's pretty simple, it has two marks uh, right here on the very corner. That's your mark, yeah, that's your indication for um, the direction that you have to place your magnet. So uh, the way of doing it, it has a little mounting plate on the back. So you just uh, uh, put that in the edge of your door and just uh, play around to see uh, your uh, sensor detects when it's open and, that's clo and it's closed and that way you can uh, set it up for distance uh, and that you make sure that it will uh, detect when it's uh, open or closed. And now I have just uh, configured uh, my presence on my arrival sensor. So now my little fob is ready and I will carry it in my pocket and I will try it later to see um, if it works as intended. Now I have installed the smart lock and this is how it looks. It's not a very complicated installation, it's pretty quick. And this is how it looks in the outside. And this is how it looks uh, on the inside. Okay, so now I have installed all my uh, new SmartThings uh, sensors around. So I'm gonna show how um, we set them up on the SmartThings app. If you're familiar with how the um, SmartThings app works, um, it asks you to create different rooms if you want to have different um, uh, devices grouped uh, differently around in your house um, so I just have one group created so in this case is house so I go there and um, here uh, it shows all the devices that I already have uh, configured uh, right now I have already added my new um, uh, devices my new sensors uh, the new um, devices that I have right now is my back door which is um, the uh, Setwave uh, smart lock that I bought um, um, I uh, have uh, this front door showing now which is my proximity sensor and this is uh, my uh, key fob uh, showing that um, if I am at home or not and I have it configured so that when I get home um, the door uh, unlocks um, upon my arrival so I don't have to use my key or enter the code um, I already tried it today it works really well it all starts um, you can you go have to go here to the marketplace and then uh, you get to the uh, screen or you just go to connect new device which uh, you tap into it it starts uh, looking for your new things 
and as soon as it uh, detects them it, um, it shows them here and then um, it uh, sends you to uh, uh, configuration little uh, four step uh, procedure which asks you mainly uh, the main of the device and uh, it asks you to add it to a specific room in which um, in my case is a uh, house it's very simple the two uh, new sensors that I got today they come in with a little uh, tape that uh, doesn't allow them to um, use their battery so you just pull that off and then uh, you run this to look for your new things and they uh, it picks them up and then um, yeah, you start setting them up quickly and uh, very easily um, the uh, smart lock the way I configured it I went uh, here to um, safety and security and then uh, I picked locks and then here you can see uh, which ones um, the smart thing is compatible with and uh, in my case I chose the quick set or so in my case it was the uh, traditional deadbolt and um, this is how it looks and it asks you to connect and uh, it looks for it and um, uh, it goes through the same procedure it's quite easy and uh, you are done in a uh, very little time so uh, here once they are all set up then uh, you go to uh, my home and then uh, all your devices show up now my new um, uh, key fob is there my uh, new proximity sensor is uh, right on the door and uh, the smart lock is uh, here showing as well and um, right now it's showing the status of unlocked which I can just press on it right now it just uh, locked and the status changes so now that I have all my devices here I'm gonna show quickly how I made a little routine so that when the, the smart thing hub knows that I'm home uh, uh, through my uh, arrival sensor it uh, unlocks my door and if wanted do more uh, actions so the way you do that is you go here to this uh, menu that says routines it has um, uh, some that uh, come predefined and you can customize them. So the one I created is very similar to the one that is called I'm Back. Um, the way you add a new one is you hit the uh, plus sign on the top right corner and then you just go to the settings. It asks you the name of your new routine and so I just uh, called it Open Back Door. So it asks you um, in this menu what you want to happen so you can if you have lights you um, can tell it to turn lights um, and all different options like you see here and um, I uh, selected unlock these doors so um, you go there it will show um, which device is available for this action and uh, this is my uh, uh, Z-Wave uh, smart lock so I select that and then it keeps asking you what else do you want to do now it has these additional settings and this is exactly what I want to do so I wanted to open my uh, back door and I want to uh, and I want it to automatically perform this task when this happens so uh, right now it shows uh, you go here and then you select when someone arrives and then um, uh, it lists uh, uh, which person, which, and by this it will list here if you have more arrival sensors set up. Uh, in this case, I, ch I chose mine. And here you can select also which times of the week you want to do that or leave it blank if um, you want to do it uh, all the time. So uh, that's how you uh, create the little routine so that every time I get home, um, my door unlocks automatically. So with this, right now I think I'm uh, using a little bit more of uh, what the SmartThings Hub is actually capable of doing. I really like to see what it offers. Um, everything works really well. Um, everything is set up very easily and uh, I think it's a very good option for um, home automation. Now that I have set up all my uh, devices here in, um, in the uh, SmartThings app, I'm going to show... Um, how uh, I can also create notifications and I can interact a little bit more with um, my app called Stringify. It's also an Alexa skill 
but Stringify also offers uh, different ways to uh, communicate with you. So now I want to go and um, do a little more with them uh, on my Stringify app. Um, I already made a video to talk about Stringify. So here I have all my um, uh, devices I have at home, all my uh, Hue lights. I have my Nest uh, products, I have my Netatmo products and uh, here in, in, the, in the bottom is um, the new additions that I uh, just uh, got this time which is my uh, smart lock, my front door uh, proximity switch and uh, my sensor that um, uh, tells uh, my home when uh, I have arrived. So I created new flows uh, so that I can get a little bit more information when uh, my new devices are in action. Here I have created um, when my front door, I called it front door unlocked. And here what I do is uh, I have uh, my front door sensor. When it opens here, you uh, set it up. Um, this is a trigger, so what will happen when uh, the sensor detects that it's open? That's my uh, trigger, and the action is, I say, well, when uh, the door is open, uh, send me a notification on my phone saying that the front door has been opened. And I did the same thing um, for uh, my back door. I have a notification when uh, the door is locked and unlocked. What I really like is that you can create a flow also to uh, open and close your door through Alexa. Uh, some people say that this is very unsafe because uh, somebody can activate uh, with their voice uh, 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 your echo device and then get access to your home. Well, it's just uh, a little bit of common sense. Um, don't uh, get... Uh, your Amazon Echo in a location where it's accessible from outside or um, near answering machines so that uh, uh, nobody can um, really have access to your house that way. I really like that I can lock and unlock my door uh, through Alexa. So the way you do that is you just create a quick new flow here and then you create, um, you select Alexa as your trigger and uh, then you uh, select your back door those are your things you're gonna be interacting with so now you have your things and then now you can grab um, your Amazon Echo and your door you bind them together and then here you want to choose your action lock it you save it and then here you set your condition you say ask Alexa to run a flow we're gonna choose around the house, you say done, and then uh, you can choose here your trigger words. So you can uh, select here, um, let's say uh, I'm gonna choose door, and then here you can select what do you want. So I'm gonna say close, and it tells you how you have to talk to uh, your Amazon Echo. Then uh, you save it, then you enable your flow, you have to name your flow, so that's it. Now I have a flow to uh, control my door through my Amazon Echo. Now I'm just gonna show uh, quickly how uh, these uh, notifications work once I uh, open my uh, doors. So here I am out of my house and now I'm just going to, there is my smart lock, I'm just gonna enter my code and uh, I'm gonna see if the little flow that I uh, run on Stringify works well. So here it is, I get my notification that my door has been unlocked. So now I'm gonna test if it works uh, when I close my door. Echo, tell Stringify to run door close. Running door close. So there it is. I get uh, the notification when my door was locked. Now this is the door where I installed uh, my proximity sensor. I'm gonna check now uh, that it works when I open the door. And there is my notification that the door has been opened. Now I close it. So now I get the notification that my front door is closed. So uh, that's it. This is my new proximity sensor. That's how my new um, SmartThings uh, devices are set up um, through my SmartThings app. 
and also using my little stringify connecting app.